Oklahoma, where the wind comes sweeping down the plain. Right? Okay. All right. Oop, where we go? I was ready to start there. Prostaglanda, the eicosanoids creating pain, are the ones to blame when you get inflamed. And ouch, they hurt inside your brain. Prostaglandins, every throb, and it gets magnified. If you hope to win, cyclooxygen's generation's got to be denied. The Vioxx has all been recalled. So go get yourself Tylenol. And if you ache, blame PGH synthase. We must complain that you make the aches. Prostaglandins, prostaglandin. D2, F1, G2, E2, prostaglandin. It's you. Okay. There, there were a couple things I didn't talk about there. They're a little bit more technical. One is that the COX enzymes are also called PGH synthase. That's what this is here. And the other was cyclooxygen is used to make the prostaglandin. But now that you've learned that from the song, you'll remember it better than if I told it to you in, in reality. OK. Let's see. I'll pass on that. OK. So let's go back now, and I'm obviously running late. I'll just get started on nucleic acids, and then we will uh, adjourn for the day. Okay, any questions about that before I start on nucleic acids? I know you're really happy that we're starting a new topic with five minutes left in the, in the period. Okay, nucleic acids. Um, nucleic acids include, of course, RNA and DNA. And we use them by the acronym so much that we don't uh, pay attention to what their names are. Deoxyribonucleic acid being DNA. Ribonucleic acid being RNA. Chemically, they're related, but they're different. Okay. The building blocks of nucleic acids are nucleotides. And you'll see that there's a decent, number of no, a decent amount of nomenclature I will give you with this. A nucleotide is something that students frequently confuse. They say, well, a nucleotide, that's like adenine, right? No. A nucleotide contains three things. It contains a sugar, it contains a phosphate, and it contains a base. Three things. It can, has to have at least one phosphate. It might have two, it might have three, it might in some cases have four, but it has to have at least one phosphate. The base is what you're thinking of as adenine. So a nucleotide contains the base, but the base is not the nucleotide. Okay. In the case of um, um, the bases that we have, let's get around to here. Okay. We see, um, of course, in uh, there are three what are called pyrimidine bases, and you won't need to know the structures, but yes, you should know the names and you should know where they're abundant. Cytosine is present in both DNA and RNA. Thymine is present in DNA and a few rare RNAs. And uracil is present in RNA. The purines, on the other hand, include adenine in both DNA and RNA and guanine in DNA and RNA. Those are the bases. A nucleoside is different from a nucleotide. A nucleoside contains two things. It contains a sugar, which is this guy down here, and it contains that sugar is attached to a base. Okay? There are two different types of sugars that we have in nucleic acids. In RNA, the sugar is known as ribose. That's where we get ribonucleic acid. In the case of DNA, the sugar is deoxyribose, and that's where we get deoxyribonucleic acid. So a ribonucleoside would have a sugar and a base. It would have no phosphate. Since it's ribo, it would have ribose. If it were a deoxyribonucleoside, it would have deoxyribose and a base. The only difference between ribose and deoxyribose is present right here on carbon number two. You see the numbering here, one, two, three, four, five. That's counting the carbons in the ribose sugar. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. The only difference is right here. 
Carbon number two in deoxyribose is lacking in oxygen, which is why we call it deoxyribose. Okay? All righty. And one last thing, and then we will go for the day. And the last thing I'll show you are the nucleotides. I told you you had a sugar, you have a phosphate, and you have a base. There's the, there's the base, there's the sugar, and there's the phosphate. The phosphate in the nucleotides is, is, is located on carbon number five. The base is located on carbon number one. Tomorrow, I will talk about how we put those together to make nucleic acids. See you then. Yes? Phosphate is on carbon number five. Yes, sir. So do the, uh, the opiates? Uh, do opiates? Ah, uh, no, they do not. They, they inhibit neural signaling. Okay. Yeah. Um, also, the, you mentioned the, 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 the gate, the gate where, where the channel proteins can block things that are smaller than the, the actual substance that they allow through. Yeah. Uh, Is that cool? Yeah.